guys, I'm Danny, and today in this video, I'm going to be cleaning the dirtiest Jordan 11 ever. These things are honestly disgusting. They are full of dirt and mud. So I'm going to be cleaning these in this video, and I'm going to be using Rejuvenator products to clean up these bread 11s. If you guys are interested in any product that you see me use in this video, make sure you check out Rejuvenator.com. The link will be down below in the description. And make sure you guys use the code DANNY10 to save 10% off anything on Rejuvenator.com. This video is not sponsored by Rejuvenator.com. I just personally love Rejuvenator products. I use them myself. And in this video, I'm going to show you how good Rejuvenator actually is. So I'm going to be using everything that comes in this Rejuvenator Premium Shoe Care Kit. I highly recommend this kit. It comes with everything you need to clean your sneakers and keep your sneakers clean. So here they are. These things are honestly disgusting, full of mud, full of dirt, and we are going to clean up these bread 11s. To get started, I'm going to toss the bread 11 inside a bowl of water here because these things are disgusting. I want to get as much dirt off as possible. So I'm just going to shove this in the bucket of water here and try to get off as much mud, grime, and dirt as possible. Now the water is turning black right now, so we're going to go ahead and continue to do this to get all the excess dirt and mud off. Okay, now it is time to get to work. So I'm going to be using Rejuvenator's Advanced Sneaker Solution right here. This bottle, I'm going to take a bowl of water and we're going to use a variety of brushes. I have a few brushes from Rejuvenator to you. So, let's start cleaning up these Bread 11s. We're going to take some of the solution, dump it into the bowl of water. Okay, and now we're going to take the hard bristle, bristled brush, the hardest brush, which is right here, and we're going to start cleaning the sneakers. So to do this, we're going to dip this into the water, get it nice and wet, lots of solution on there, and let's start scrubbing these bread 11s. I'm going to start here on the inside and let's get to work. You can hear all the grime coming off. This is the stiff brush. It's very, very hard. And I'm using this because it is patent leather upper. It's not suede or nubuck or anything delicate. So we can use the hard bristle brush and we want to get off all this dirt and grime and mud off as much as possible. You can see it's going to soak up suds up you want that dip it back in the water and just go to work cleaning the sneaker it is going to make a mess depending on how much mud and dirt are on your sneakers obviously this is a lot so it's going to be very very muddy throughout this process i'm going to have to dump out the water a few times make sure that you do that you don't want to continue using dirty water on your sneakers because then there's really no point you're just going to keep cleaning with dirty water so make sure you swap out the water a few times as much as necessary so keep going to town here on these sneakers and let's keep cleaning up these bread 11s keep using the solution dump back in the water and you're going to see it soap up suds up and that's what you want you want it to be a mess honestly all over your shoe Make sure you use some force when you're doing this so you can clean them up nicely. I like to use the hard bristle brush for the bottoms and the midsole. And then for the upper, I'll be using the medium bristled brush and then the soft bristle brush for those delicate uppers. The more suds, the soapier it gets, the better. It means the solution is doing its job, attacking the dirt, grime, mud, whatever you have on your shoe. So get it soapy. You want it to be soapy and foamy. It's gonna make a mess, so I do highly recommend, you know, having towels nearby. Make sure you clean up your mess. Make sure you wanna clean up your mess when you're done. And, you know, as it's going on, it's gonna be very, very messy. So make sure you're doing this in a spot where it's safe and you're not worried about it, you know, making a mess for the time being. More solution, the better. But you also have to let the solution do its job. So not too much, but don't be scared to use a good amount of solution. So 
So now they're full of soap, they're all soapy, scummy, and whatever else you want to call it, full of the solution. So what I'm going to do is, because it is mesh, and it is patent leather, and it's not a good quality leather, it's not new buck, it's not suede, I'm going to go ahead and run these underwater, put them back in the water to get all this off. If it was new buck or suede, I would want to use a microfiber towel, but because it's not, I don't have to worry about that. So I ran them underwater. They do look a lot better already, a lot cleaner. However, on the upper, there is still some dirt. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to use the medium bristled brush. Because it is ballistic mesh on the upper, it's not suede or new buck or a delicate material. If it was, I would be using the soft bristled brush, but since it's not, I can go ahead and use the medium bristled brush for these uppers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We're gonna dip this brush into the water, take some solution. You can put the solution on the brush in the water. It doesn't make a difference. Make sure you dip it back in. Get some nice solution on there. And what you wanna do is go back to town on the sneaker and you wanna get the soap and bubbles all on the sneaker. I'm not sure if you guys can notice, but I did fold over this towel because when I cleaned the shoe for the first time, it made a bunch of mess like everywhere. There was dirt everywhere on this towel. So make sure that you're not cleaning your sneakers where it's dirty. You know what I mean? Don't clean them, clean them, and then there'd be dirt everywhere and then go back for a second time, clean them again on the same exact spot. I folded over the towel so it is clean once again. And we'll just focus here on the uppers and we're gonna go ahead and get make these spotless once again thanks to Rejuvenator. Once again, guys, the link will be down below in the description if you are interested in anything on Rejuvenator. And you guys can use the code DANNY10 to save 10% off your entire order. So check that out. It is highly, highly amazing, to be honest. I love Rejuvenator products. I'm not just saying that. Guys, I'm telling you, this, this stuff actually works. It, it's amazing. Best cleaner in the game. And you will see after this video why I say that. So let's keep scrubbing these uppers and you can see it is cleaning them very nicely now the laces were not too dirty if the laces were extremely dirty i would have taken the laces out but because they weren't i just left them in so i'm not too worried i can go over the laces with the brush give them a nice clean just like that and they are clean just like that so let's continue with these uppers we're almost done just give it a nice few scrubbings dip it back in the water and get it nice and wet all right, we are almost done, which is amazing already because these things were disgusting. They were disgusting, destroyed. Honestly, the, the dirtiest pair of Bride 11s I've ever seen. So, shout out to Rejuvenator for working. So, as you guys can see, they are all soapy, bubbly, and whatnot. Now, the bottom is still a little bit dirty. So, what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take back the hard bristled brush and go attack the bottom again. One last time on the bottom. The bottom is usually the hardest thing to clean because you have to get inside all the crevices and whatnot. You know, it is the bottom of the shoe. You're not going to notice it. You know what I mean? It's always going to get dirty every time you wear it. It is the bottom of the shoe. But I like to keep my shoes, you know, clean and taken care of. You can see they're all bubbly still, all full of the solution. I'm going to go ahead and run these back in the water. If you wanted to, you can use a microfiber towel. It doesn't matter with this type of sneaker with this upper. Once again, if it was suede or nubuck, I would only be using a microfiber towel because you do not want to ruin your sneakers. Water does damage nubuck and suede if you use too much of it. So be careful with that. Other than that, let's go finish up cleaning these bread 11s. So I ran these bread 11s underwater and as you guys can see, they are clean and spotless. Shout out to Rejuvenator for completely working, man. I'm telling you guys, Rejuvenator is a must if you are a sneakerhead. Now, what I'm gonna do for this final thing is I'm going to take this towel and basically just go over the shoe. Try to wipe away any excess water, help them dry a little bit faster. So you wanna let your sneakers dry for a few hours and then you are good to go. They are clean as new. I'll let you guys take a look at these in some B-roll and you tell me what you guys think about Rejuvenator, let me know what you guys think about how clean these came out.
So the last and final steps of what you want to use for your sneakers is first of all, you want to use the water and stain repellent to stop anything like this mess happening again. So I'm going to take some of this, shake it up, and I'm going to spray it on my sneakers. Give it a few squirts around. And now they are protected from basically that happening again. And lastly, I'm going to be using the advanced deodorizer because these, yeah, they have a little smell to them. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and open this up, spray a couple squirts in there. Mmm, now they smell much, much better, guys. These look brand new again and they smell delicious so there you guys have it shout out to Rashuvinator once again guys make sure you check the link down below in the description and use my code danny10 to save you 10% off anything on Rashuvinator.com Rashuvinator has saved my 2019 Air Jordan 11 breads these were the dirtiest Air Jordan 11s ever and now they are the cleanest pair Ever. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you let me know by smashing that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And make sure you give me a follow on Instagram and Twitter if you have both. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys join the more family. Hit that subscribe button. Smash that like button. We're always on the grind. We're never gonna stop always dropping that fire. Straight fire. Thank you guys so much for watching. We out.